Tony, uh, after such a strong performance by your guys, you disappointed with just the way things unfolded in the final minute? Yeah, we'll take a look. That, that doesn't take away the quality of play. You know, as things happen in the heat of battle, I'll have to take a look at it. Thank you. And, um, uh, you know, it just it was unfortunate. I, I don't think we were trying to disrespect anybody. Um, there was a six, seven second difference on the shot clock. We threw the alley-oop because um, we had to get a shot up. Um, you know, I wish we could have finished a little better down the stretch and we went to maybe been into that spot. But I have great respect for Leonard and his team. They play hard. We, we played well uh, for the most part. And, you know, hopefully that, that was just uh, a little bit of a mirage. I told our guys they're lovers, not fighters. So hopefully they'll... Um, We'll, uh, we'll get with it. But the best way to respond is just to, to play as hard as you can, as well as you can. I didn't see what happened on the handshake line at the end. I don't know if there was some shoving. You guys probably had a better view than I did. But what's done is done. And, and again, it's, it's time to move on. Joe didn't score until midway through the first half, but he seemed to be under control the whole game. Uh, what were your thoughts on his yeah, performance? Yeah, I mean, look at his stat line. He was real solid. Hit that big three. Um, you know, we were we got some good looks, just couldn't finish, couldn't capitalize, and then he hit the three when we needed it at the end, but he was in good rhythm. Um, and again, he's playing very efficient. And I know sometimes it's like, well, he's not getting enough shots. He's getting guarded hard, but he's He's getting the shots for other guys, and he's very efficient. And obviously, he was moving hard and was very sharp today. And, and again, I liked our defense um, in the first half. I thought that was a good, obviously, a good first half on both both sides of the ball. Tony, the 18 turnovers. How much of that was a good defense by you guys forcing those versus yeah, careless errors on their part? Yeah, the first time we played them, they had some too. Some some of it, I hope is I hope some of it's our defense, but it's, I'm sure it's both. Some of it is the unforced. Turnovers, and I think you know the points off turnovers have, have helped us helped us last time we played them. And again, just if we can be sound and be in, in position, sometimes guys don't see things. We had some nice post traps, and we did create some out of our defense. And a couple were travels or careless plays on their part, as a couple of ours were as ours were as well. Talk about Malcolm's game. Looks six assists, four steals, made all his yeah. free throws. Yeah, no, he was, you know, he's been solid since we've started ACC play. He's shown his completeness, um, taking care of the ball, guarding. Um, you know, his, his size and strength has helped. He hit a couple nice floaters and pull-ups, and um, he, he seems more comfortable on the floor early. And as I mentioned, I don't know if that's just your red shirt and it takes a little bit of time, and, you know, he's certainly getting a lot of minutes, but uh, he's played back-to-back um, -back quality games, as, as has Joe. It Tony, we, we've asked you about it before, but Mike, Toby, obviously he had, he had a strong game, but finishing at the rim, it, yeah. is there anything he can do other than just get stronger? I mean, what do you say to him when he's having yeah, trouble? Yeah, I think that is. I think we're talking about the strength factor, in it, and it's a process. It really is. Actually, he used a couple fakes at the end, but when I look out there, I say a lot of it is just he's got to go towards the rim. He's got to use fakes, but physically he has to continue to get stronger. And, um, you know, again, Florida State's a hard team to finish. We finished better this time than last time. They were playing paddle ball last time against them. We couldn't get much at the rim. This time we got a few at the rim, but those are obviously long, big, athletic guys. And, um, you know, Mike's case, so he, he'll be the first. He's got to keep working on the finishing and, and getting better with fakes and using touch. But, um, but as far as uh, I thought he did some good things, and I think that's a work in progress. To start this three-game homestand with a win and be four and one in the ACC, when you look at the big picture, is this the way you wanted to start this stretch of home games here? Yeah, well, we've been playing good ball. I told our guys before, and I'll continue to say it, it's after the Tennessee game, we didn't say to ourselves, well, now we got to go to Florida State and get a win. And then we got to come home and get a win against Wake Forest. And we got to go to NC State. It was about play the right way for us, play the right way, focus on the quality. That The outcome takes care of itself. That's the process-oriented approach that all teams, I think, should have and we have to have. And it's about the quality of our play, taking care of the ball, getting good shots, getting back, doing the little things that we say help us be successful. So when you take care of that and, and don't worry about so much big picture or, all right, we got to get this one, uh, I think we're in a better place, and that's what I thought the guys did today, and that was what they responded to. Hey, Tony, uh, three, out, uh, three out of the last four, I guess, you've had really good starts, and do you put your finger on anything for that? Well, I think, you know, everything's clicked in terms of um, just solid defense. Guys have shot it well. We've had a, a level of composure and patience, and, you know, we're just getting good looks, and the guys have been ready. There's been a 
if you want to say edge, they've just they've been ready. There's been a sense of urgency, and um, they haven't allowed too many. What hurts you, I think, and starts is when you allow the other team easy shots or you have breakdowns. You know, again, sometimes you'll hit shots, but when you're in the right spots and making them earn and get the tough shots, that helps you a lot. Your defense gets you up to a good start. And then offense, you might have to find a little bit, but uh, that's been, I think, the difference, how we've started defensively and not allowing, a, not having too many breakdowns early. Can you, can you speak to, I think, Joe, with that little reverse lay in there right before half? Yeah. It looks like he came off that screen and maybe had a, and they closed out pretty hard, but yeah. he still had the patience to, you know, there's still time on the clock. Right. Uh, how big was that going into half to, to seize all that momentum? Yeah, and again, that's you. When you go against guys that big, you have to figure out how to use the rim, how to use fakes, how to get it away from your body. And you know, Joe's been working on that stuff, and I thought that was a very crafty move. And again, to finish that, you know, the guys. What I liked about that is, I don't know if I had used a timeout or we had one, but we. Um, we let them. They called that set themselves. They got it organized. They did it. Joe made the play, and I, I like that composure to finish the half. Darion and Tevin, will they get to play Monday night? Yes, they. Uh, that's that's what I. That was my only concern. I mean, I will look at it, but okay, they wandered off the bench, and it's just a a dismissal. And, I, and again, according to Jamie, he said this is not. A, there's no technicals issued, and it's not a suspension. It was just two technicals offset white. And London's and Okaro Okora's offset, and the two that strayed off the bench had to leave the the bench for the remainder of the game with no penalties for the next game uh, for anybody. Which is probably how it should be because it wasn't a, I mean, it was just it wasn't any, anything thrown. Uh, Tony, you shot about 10% better in this game than in Tallahassee. Uh, can you talk about the keys to that? I mean, what, what you guys did a little better offensively? Yeah, I, well, it didn't look like it. We did finish a few more. Um, we shot the ball from three, obviously, better. We didn't shoot the ball from three well there. Um, we got London had a hot start, I remember, there. He was three of four, I think, from three. But we didn't have Joe. And I remember saying to him as well, did you guys play better without Joe? I, I think we knew what we were doing. We could have used Joe down there, and now we had Joe, and we had you know our full arsenal, and I thought that helped us because he draws attention. He was in rhythm. Then it opens up driving lanes. They've got to chase him. A lot of things start happening when he's he's out there. He draws a lot of attention, and he and he works hard without the ball, and hopefully that was wearing them down some. And I know they didn't play particularly well, um, but hopefully uh, we had something to do with that. Two more questions, Mark. Tony. When it was a 12-point game, it looked like they they decided to just at least one possession foul a keel. Is that something yep. you have to get him ready for? Sort yeah. of that strategy going. Yeah, forward? and I, you know, he, what was he? One of what was he from the line? Let me see. Is one of three? Okay. Um, I thought he was one of two, but um, he. Um, yeah, you know, he, he did some good things, but um, in that situation, he's going to keep working, obviously, on developing the free throw ritual and, and be sound, but. Yeah, that's you, you gotta be sound. That's why I put Mike in, and um, we went to that. And I think Mike made he make a couple free throws down the stretch. They follow them, so that's just an awareness. But White's a tough matchup. Parker's a tough matchup. So Akil matches up well. You just gotta balance that and see what the situation requires. Tony, earlier uh, you talked about starting off the games pretty fast. Florida State seems like the only team you've had a an issue toward the back end of games. They creep back in it. Is that? Them is that you? What have you noticed? Um, probably both. They um, they're explosive. They at late in the game down there and here, they kind of you know some of this one was we just didn't finish. I mean we missed a front end of the bonus. That thing was getting ready to I think be secure, but they put their head down and they go hard and and they um, they're so fast with it and they scored some easy buckets either off our turnovers or missed shots, and they did that to us there. You know thankfully we had enough lead, but. Um, it shows you a team can struggle, but then it gives you a little glimpse of their talent and their explosiveness. And um, they did it to us twice, but to be in that spot, to be up and have command is the, the story there. Not that they cut it to 12, I, th I think, in my opinion. But you do, I do wish we could have just kept that thing at 20 and separated and gotten some guys a little more rest. But you got to do what you have to do to win it. And Last question. Tony, back here. Carolina on Monday, given the way their season has gone, do you have any idea what kind of team you're going to see here Monday night? Well, they're talented. I watched them, you know, you see them play against Louisville, Kentucky, the quality wins they have, and I, I don't know when they play or who they're playing today. Okay. Um, that's, a, that's a storied program, and they have very gifted players. And when your back gets against the wall, 
as we saw against Duke, you, you see teams come out and, and respond, and it'll be our job to, to be as ready as we can. But certainly they're talented, and I know they've got off to a slow start, but they've shown great basketball in tough settings uh, at different times this year, and, and you got to be ready for that. Okay, thanks, Yep.